What's going on streamers? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to install themes, customize them, and manage them directly here inside of Streamlabs desktop. So what you're going to want to do is go over here to the little ruler and pencil. It's going to bring you into the theme store. And what you're going to want to do is filter it however you like. You can filter it by color, game category, or you can sort it by just added or most popular. For me, I'm going to look for the ones that are free. That way I don't have to worry about Prime's paywall because a lot of stuff is behind that, unfortunately. But just kind of go through all of these different types of options and see which one kind of jumps out at you. And once you do find one that you like, just hover over it and you're going to click on the install theme. What this will do is take all of the information from that scene collection and install it into the program for you. So once you have that installed, then you're going to want to go ahead and change some of the information. So first things first, we're going to go to social media. You're going to open up the folder for the social platform that you're on. So I'm just going to choose Instagram. I'm going to double click on it and I'm just going to type in Creovox, which I do have an Instagram, by the way. So once that is done, you can then see it's right there. It's very tiny, but it is right there. And we're going to move on through the other ones here. So for your offline screen, you're going to see that that's still carried over. And it should also carry over to the ending soon. And then you're back soon. And this one should also have it. Okay, so this one it did not carry over, as you can see up here. But it is also here again. So you might run into that, but all you got to do is just repeat the process. Just open up the folder, go back in there, type in the name, and it is donezo. So once you got that finished, then you just want to kind of go through all the other stuff that's in here. So you do have a chat box, which is going to be right here. You'll have your webcam, which will go right there, and then your game capture. So if you need to add anything or make sure that certain things fit, this is where you're going to want to do that. And then same thing to make sure your information for your stream labels is also populating down there as well. For the starting soon screen, the information carried over there. And then this will be the live screen. So this will be all your stuff. You know, if you wanted to have your username up here, you can adjust that information. That's going to be all inside of all these different folders. So just kind of go through the folders and adjust the information. You can hide the information by, you know, hitting the little eyeball here and that will hide all the stuff that way it's not on the screen anymore but you can always bring it back if you want to but if you don't want to use this one at all like you decided that you don't like how it looks and you want to get rid of it what you're going to want to do is go over to this part of the screen here where it says the name of the scene or the name of the scene collection click on the down arrow and you're going to go to manage all this is going to show all of your scene collections that you have added whether you've imported them from OBS, you've created your own, or you have installed them from the Streamlabs theme store. So if you don't like what it is, then you can just go ahead and hover over it and you can just hit delete, you can duplicate, you can also rename. So if you don't like it, just delete it. And there it goes, it's gone. And then you have a blank scene or whichever one is after that and you can jump to whatever one you need to. But that is pretty much everything about themes, how to install, customize, and manage them. If you had any questions and you want to talk about it, let's go ahead and discuss it in the comment section below. If you found the video helpful, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.